Hello everyone, today I want to show you a project that I've created inside of W3 Schools. So basically this is a Go Anime project, which allows you to use it in school, home, and I believe other places too. And this is not made using my GitHub domain, this is actually made using Beyond's domains, which is allowed in the school system. And the home system too, all systems. Yeah, the site may be short lived, but my GitHub domain is longest. So, yeah, I'll be showing you around. So, in order to get to the website, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to goanimate.w3spaces.com and that will just bring up a video maker like any other. Not sure why, why this is titled that, but I'm guessing this will be my go anime rewritten. So, this is the Beyond Loading like screen thing. You can kind of record videos over here, you can make videos over here, you can like kind of do all that stuff except for voices, but mouse will not be moving. Cause that feature is impossible to fix. It's not a preview window, so I'm not going to be fixing that. But yes, what this thing does use is Goanime Wrapper, which is the API which works this entire thing. Speaking of that, let me load Goanime Wrapper right now. So you can kind of see that this is my API here. Not sure why this is loading, but I'll try to see if I can. Like, yeah, yeah. Just hold on a minute. I'm gonna see what's going on inside the API. Okay. Go and me lap you. Yeah, I know it's on Slash. I, I checked it last time and hold on, let me try. Hmm, let's try this. We can copy. We can try copying and paste it. Maybe I might change something inside of it. Might be might just be a misspelling. Yes, I do own this project, so I'm able to tell you how many requests and data this thing can take up. Okay. May might be a slash problem because you need a slash at the end of every single error as all as some of you may know. Hold on, I know this thing is on weird. So now I can start with zero, it's actually win number one. Not sure why it's not responding now, but go oh, ahead, I'll try to make the best of it. Hopefully this responds that time. Might be application errors and the API, I don't know. There we go. We got it. I don't know why they didn't do it. But that's just a pretty common problem that you guys have been getting in the own legacy. But yeah, don't worry, that's gone away now. So as you see, this is a main like video maker. If I load your characters, you can load your characters. 
You can do that. Yes, this paint does use Beyond Legacy Official, which is the Hero Clock version of Gourmet's Legacy Video Maker. Let me show you here. Okay, I forgot to change it, but don't worry, I'll change it to make it school system appropriate. So here, so here you have all of your characters and like stuff. You can give your characters a voice. You can preview it if you want to. If you want to preview it, just click here. And it will preview the video for you. Not sure why this isn't fonted, but it should be. We'll go voice with Sir Justin. Now we're gonna preview this. Yes, forces do work on this one, so you're too good on it. Hi. So the mouse does not move, which is impossible to fix. But it was possible for me to find a fix for voices not working, but impossible for me to fix for voices not moving, even though the player has no full screen. I still don't get it, but yeah, saving does not work on this one, so you have to be careful on this one. And yes, there is a way to create custom characters on here for the apps. Yes, there is a way you can create custom characters, I thought about that. So basically what you're gonna do is, on goami.wfreespaces.com, you're gonna go to slash code.txt is what you're going to be doing is you're going to be getting rid of a whiteboard animation character creator yes yeah you're going you're going to be getting rid of that and then you have a copy world character creator back so how you fix that is you right click on this link you right click over here or over here, it doesn't matter. You can right click anywhere except for the flash. You click inspect. And then you click on console. And then you paste in the code you just copied. So, yes. As you can see, I copied it. So, yep, if you paste it over here, it should load. A character creator. Show old Adam. Set Fago. We got an Adam character creator on the going. Assume these things will have the same store, same animation, same static. For Bay Omega, actually. You can create it in details you want. It can be anything. Like, you have your old, like, things, and you got your new stuff. But I save it, characters, you click save, and yeah, it will take you straight to the video maker. No, that does not do that. That, that just reloads, basically, like, basically, right for whiteboard animation like stuff. So then you go reload for video maker again. And what it should do is it should bring up your character. And if you want to save your video, I will put that in another I will put that in a separate video maker. That's what I'll do. So if you survey, we go to characters. Boom, your character's right there. You can drag it to your LVM. Boom. Not sure what preview window is going to pick it up, but I'm hoping it does. Yeah, it, it sure does. 
It can pick up any action too. Let me try and show you. See up. After some testing, this preview a little bit can, can pick up so many actions. See, it can pick up a action you guys put on put on here. This is this this has been tested. See so yeah, boom. You got it. And so yeah, you know all that stuff. You can even have voice if you want to, the voices do work. So like guys, if you want the voices on here, I thought about that. So if you just use your text to speech, you can type in any text you want. You can use Justin, you can use... No, not for Kendra voices, that doesn't work anymore. You can use... Oh, you can use the Paul voice, you can use... The Steven voice. I've used that a couple of times, and that's Jordan's voice, Steven. Hi. We preview and always say, the, I think it will, I think the TTS will ask the narrator voice. Hi. Yeah, that's kind of like that. It only acts like the TTS narrator voice. And we want to preview each scene. Well, I thought about that. The preview window also thought about it too. Let's say if, if I had so many scenes, if I want to preview from each of them, you got your back. Because this thing should work fine. Yep, see? I revived the old trick where you can like preview for the certain scene. At Go Anime Rapper, if you're watching this, you should really add that feature. That feature is really cool, and I really miss it. I'm starting to miss it now, because I'm starting to get the point that Beyond Legacy decided to, like, do this action, like, like, preview from that certain type of scene. Like, from, from, yeah, from that scene. But so for example, if you are previewing Earthquake, or something certain, instead of playing it from the beginning, then we thought about that, too. So yeah, there you go. If same reason it works, so yeah, in order to record your video, you're gonna have to adjust the recorder to be of a preview recorder. Okay, so I record this, I have to when the video is world, you have to pause the video just like that. And then you have to put up your camera, like you have to put up your screen towards, yeah, towards the preview player, and then when the video is recorded, you can click play. Hi. And what it should do is it should play your video for you. Now once the video is done playing, like once it gets the play again button, you're gonna stop recording. And that's how you're gonna do it. So boom. For some reason the save now button does not work and I have no idea why. Probably because saving does not work anyway. It doesn't matter. So yeah, there you go. More features will be coming soon. And we really hope that this helps your school out a lot. I really hope this does. Because your school can really use this link. So yeah. This would be like Grammy for schools. So yeah, hopefully this helps out a lot. This is me, signing off.